Hello again. Uh, this time we're not gonna learn a lot more. Uh, we're just trying to wrap up because the information you've gotten so far is pretty much enough to make a pretty nice scenario. Uh, I would recommend that if you're struggling and you see someone else do something else, try to look at their code because in the, for the most part you can see what they're doing so you can just copy it. Like that, there's absolutely no crime in copying the code of someone else. It just helps you get better. And uh, let, let's be real, you, you, you're not going to be able to remember all of this. Like how to import an image, how to, maybe you don't, can't remember how to set the name, how, you can't remember all of this. Like it's, it's impossible to remember, which is why Googling, uh, on the RenP side, uh, figuring out how other scenario ad developers do it, it, it's all fair game. Like nobody's going to hunt you down because you used the code of somebody else. So don't feel afraid to do it. Now another thing you should be aware of is how to read errors. Uh, this could be pretty hard if you weren't using a text uh, editor program like Atom. Not only does it help with error solving, but it also helps a lot with the structure. As you can see, it's pretty pretty easily readable. You can see here that we set the scene, we show Greg, and we do it all with Dissolve. It's much harder if you don't use a good uh, editing program. And with the Renpu uh, extension uh, package, you also get uh, all of these colors. It, it's very nicely classified. And if I don't have it, uh, like this, but if you have auto uh, auto correct or something, I can't remember what it's called. But if you're writing some code, it gives you some uh, examples of what you could uh, write next. It's it's something that's bundled with Atom. If you install it, I uninstalled it. I can't remember how to get it back, so that's why I'm not showing it. Uh, but it's yeah, you're gonna figure it out by your own pace, I guess. But errors. So how do we repeat errors? Obviously, that, there's no error right here right now. Uh, but if we once again try to remove this to cause an error down here, if we remove the boolean, if we maybe try to say smorf, and if we say that Greg up here is spelled with a big G, there's a lot of errors. I, I just completely screwed up my own scenario, but it's for the sake of showing you how it's done. It's going to be absolutely livid right now. Smurf and John says, that's not a thing. It tells you here, Smurf and John. And the neat part is that it says where it's an error. So line 45, as you could probably see out here, Line 45, that's here. Line 45. Oh, there's small error. Let's just correct that and save. And it reloads. And now we wait. It's probably going to give me another error. There we go. Flow rider is not defined. Line 79. Now, obviously, line 79, we can't see the error here. It's just flow rider. That's how it's called, right? But we don't have, we know that we don't have Flowrider as a character. Obviously, if we're going to use a custom character, we should know that he exists. Uh, so we may have to make sure that he exists. But it also tells you here, say a Flowrider is not defined, which means that maybe, perhaps, the scenario or the program has simply skipped over the definition, or it doesn't exist at all. So we have to put it back in. I can't remember how to do it, so I'm just going to do it like this. Flow rider. There we go. So two out of four errors are solved. Let's go back. It's probably going to be okay. Yep. But I'm just going to reload the scenario. Uh, back into Greg's adventure. We skip, 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 skip. Oh! Error. In line 37, let's check 37. Oh, we can see he's spelled with a big G. You can also see there's something else down here. Now, 
you are typically not going to use anything under this full traceback uh, bracket. It's, for the most part, completely irrelevant for you. For the most part, you're going to want to use this up here because it's easily readable and sometimes you get errors which are just impossible to really see what the hell's going on. Uh, so asking on Discord is a good idea in that case. Uh, but in this game, you can see line 37. In the game scenario, Rex Adventure story template dot RPE, RPY file. Now this is obviously not something that's related to our game text. We already fixed the issue. We can try running it again. It should work. Even though that was an outlier error. But it's probably because it cascades down into the program. Oh, there we go. Yep, 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 yep. Should be a final error somewhere. Or maybe not. Oh, it's because I'm setting the pool in here. So let's just remove that again. And this is an error we had in the last video, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Files, in our file, line 74, if boolean is false, but wait, 74, just comp continue reading, module, what on earth is that? Nobody knows. Name error, name boolean one is not defined. Ah, there's the error. So it's not defined. This doesn't exist, this value doesn't exist. So we have to set it. So let's set it again. Dollar sign, boolean one is, well, let's make it two true. I already know this is gonna cause an error again. But let's see if it registers. Uh, let's roll back. Let's roll back, back, oh, there we go. Boolean one is not defined, but we're defining it here. But remember, you have to make it a setter, not a checker. So one equals sign, not two. So now it should work, even though it says true, and it says false down here, it simply checks down here. Is it false? No, well, who cares? That's, that's part of the program, right? So we just skip this and we go down here. So let's save it one last time. It's probably going to give me an error at the start again, but we can live with it. Oh, it works. There we go. Did you do it? No, we didn't. Florence is here. And there we go. So that's uh, the first series of these video tutorials. Uh, I'm probably going to make another one where we go a bit more in depth because there's a lot of things you can do in here. Uh, as you can see, images, you can jump to all kinds of labels. You can even go completely crazy and maybe divide your story into multiple RPY files. Uh, also notable, if you want to release your scenario, be sure to delete these before you package them into a zip or .rar file, because these files can cause conflict with other, uh, what's it called, scenarios on other computers. It's not going to cause conflict on your computer, uh, but it's going to cause conflict on others. Uh, I don't really know if there's anything else, really. Uh, yeah, there's all kinds of clone and uh, spirit and possession. You can find that in the official guide. It's not really hard. Uh, so, yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you for watching.